Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Planet Indoors Let's Play series featuring Minecraft, Industrial Craft 2, Build Craft, and Red Power. I am Rowan Winsong for the Planet Indoor Gaming Network and uh, today we're actually on Planet Indoors Build Server and by Build Server I mean it's multiplayer. We have one of the other builders on right now, uh, Blockhead Vincent. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, basically we've just been slowly building up uh, the server on 181 because unfortunately some of the mods are still uh, outdated or the supporting mods that they go on such as Minecraft Forge or uh, Forgecraft or whatever they want to take and call it now is still outdated um, and unfortunately Industrial Craft 2 they've decided to stick with 181 for now so we're kinda stuck in moving forward to 1.0 uh, gold or whatever you want to call it live um, it's kind of a downer because we're looking forward to taking and having the mods working on 1.0. So what we've done is basically we've set up our 1.0 server with a copy of this map that we're actually playing on. But of course it's going to be missing a few of the buildings because it's an old snapshot of last week. And also because we're not running any of the mods on the new server, they're not going to have any of... Uh, you know the stuff that we have set up here as far as using mods for like you know the solar flowers and reinforced glass and all that stuff so unfortunately you're not going to see that if you actually go on that server uh, that server is also whitelisted and I've seen some people in some of my previous videos asking about the IP address of the server um, in order to get the IP address of the server all you gotta do is basically just go to planetindora.com register for an account and then just sign up in the whitelist section in the forums and um, provided that everything checks out okay um, we'll take an address of the whitelist so you can take and get on um, but just a word of warning if you do do that essentially the server that you're going to be connecting to is the 1.0 server it's a bare vanilla server there's no bucket because bucket's still not really updated as far as a release build or anything like that either so whatever you guys build there and whatever you guys do, just fair warning that it's um, probably not going to be saved over for once we actually go live because essentially 1.0 is going to disappear. Um, and we're going to have to start, well not start over, we're going to have to use 1.81 for the time being at least until Industrial Craft 2 gets up to 1.0. They said, you know, quote, they're going to be sticking with it for, you know, quote, a while as far as sticking with 181 so however long a while is you know is your your guess is as good as mine I have no idea so I figured today I'd just take and show you around some of the stuff that we've actually gotten done both here over near the town hall and as well out here in the desert um, but essentially we got started on the factories we got six oil flowers up here and I believe it was 16 4 8 12 yeah 16 solar flowers on the roof uh, this building right here is actually the silo building on the left hand side is going to hold the crude oil um, where you'll see actually I'll go down and show you guys really quick let's see here basically in here you now we have a setup blockhead actually set it up so that when you walk on those pressure plates it uh, turns the lights on and off too so that's kind of cool it took forever to take and get that done and worked out with all the bugs and stuff but um, we have feed pipes here for both uh, inputting oil as well as once the this is the actually refining building we haven't set up the equipment yet but we just got all the you know the plumbing essentially done uh, minus the electrical and um, so we got pipes in here to supply oil and then to take and ship them back down to um, to over here in the silo building itself um, up here is just normal everyday building I mean everyday silos and stuff like that and then down below you can see the lower part of the silos now these silos are going to come down two blocks from the floor that way there we can take and hook on wooden pipes with pumps to take and extract when we need to extract and essentially they go the entire thickness as you can see through and I'm actually not done we're gonna take and add additional layers up above to basically go almost towards the top of the roof there of reinforced glass up above that you can see um, right below the flower uh, the solar flowers um, processing pipe maintenance tunnel we got the process fuel return lines that comes from two different sides of the processing building that were just in a second ago with the blue lights oil processing feed lines these go th behind this wall 
and eventually are going to come down underneath and come up under here to three different areas where basically we're going to tap into uh, pipes with you know engines and stuff like that that they can do the extracting and um, you got basically an oil feed line fuel return line which is this one here uh, oil feed line is this one right here and then we have two other lines to shoot down here one's the oil return which actually comes in here and goes over my head and then up through the bottom of the floor towards the wall that way and then the oil oh, I spelled that one wrong <laughs> oil feed line for this one here um, so essentially that's how this particular building is going to take and work. Uh, this pro The processing building up above to take and process it from crude oil over to fuel and stuff like that. This is essentially just a temporary building. Uh, we might go bigger. We haven't really decided, well, I haven't really decided yet. Um, but if it comes to the point where I can't get enough power in here or enough processors in here to produce the kind of oil that we're looking to do, then I'll take and uh, adjust it. So. I might go out, light turn off, and you save energy. Even though I know it doesn't use energy, it's still kind of cool. Um, then your normal silo building. Like I said, these silos are going to go all the way up to the roof and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. It'll basically be pretty large. And right now we are running in creative mode. Just because the way it works on the server, any public works project, like these factories and stuff like that, this is all public works infrastructure we're working on right now. The way it's going to work on the server is if you're doing a project for public works, you're allowed to use, you know, the same abilities, I guess you could say, as somebody who's on the build team for the server itself. Meaning, you can take and use creative mode, you can fly around, you can spawn whatever you need and stuff like that to take and get stuff going, um, as long as it's a public works project. As soon as you want to take and uh, start building something for your house or something like that, or something personal for you, then you're supposed to theoretically go back to you know, doing the whole, um, you know, survival type setup where you got to go out and get your own stuff. Um, this floor and the floor above me is basically going to be uh, probably on the ceiling here and then on the ceiling down below. The one I'm standing on right now is actually a basement down that you can kind of see down there. Um, it's going to be the machineries all running and stuff like that, plus the pipes and everything else. Um, look down here. I still haven't built stairs down in here yet, so it's still kind of... Um, unfinished but we have some stuff like we gotta recess these one block deeper so we can hide everything behind the block but basically this room over here that the cursor is on right now it's just like this room we have uh, MFSU's behind the wall with glass fiber cabling to minimize the uh, EU loss for distance transport and stuff like that and um, we basically set it up so that um, we have it so that if you were to let's see come over to here for instance it's kind of like a wall socket. These go every X amount of blocks. And, you know, I didn't take and count on each block, so that's why they're not exactly even. But essentially, instead of having to worry about taking and running wires all on the wall every time you want to take and plug into power and stuff like that, all you got to do is basically just take and put a tap, you know, and poof. You know, set up whatever engine or, not engine, but whatever device you take and need, and uh, it's uh, basically off and running. So it's not that bad. Um, at least so far as what I'm going to take and use it and stuff. Um, this was the original processing area that we we're going to use uh, just for quick processors. We haven't started doing anything with oil or anything yet so that's why nothing's really been um, pushed through it yet. Um, we have a service tunnel that we dug and this goes all the way down to our power plant down at the other end and so <clears throat> with that we have this pipe that's going to basically shoot down towards the power plant you're going to have normal engines down there creating power for stuff like these uh, processing units. Plus you're going to have uh, nuclear power plants down there running to multiple um, reactors. So um, this basically is just the basement level of this first factory. We have uh, another factory that's over in this direction here, which you'll be able to take and see. I'll just bust these windows really quick over here. Um, this factory over there is multi-purpose. It does all kinds of stuff. Um, I still haven't talked to the owner yet in regards to what exactly he wants to do in there. So, in the meantime, I've kind of left it alone just because, you know, I don't like going and messing around with other people's stuff till I hear from them. So, we're going to go ahead and leave that alone for now. But, um, essentially, for the most part, um, this factory is pretty much ready to go and start getting retrofitted to take and do stuff. 
I just gotta build a small staircase downstairs to the basement and that'll be all set. Um, I'll show you guys really quick the cactus farm we did. It's actually very easy to do waterproof piping harvesting. Essentially it's uh, you can see the original level like right here where it gets split off this wall right here is actually where we added on to it just because we know that as soon as people join the game they're going to want to start doing stuff with pipes and I know how much people love to just go out and harvest cactuses and stuff like that so we said well if we're going to take and do that we're going to probably need a cactus farm to at least get people started off with and stuff like that so originally it was basically just this thick or this big I should say and then we added on this section here double floored as you can see is cactus there and then cactus there so it's two floors all the way through and oh, somebody must have broke a brick or something uh, two floors all the way through and we have it set up inside with an obsidian pipe so that basically as the cactuses get pumped down through the water it's set up on a slant with uh, running water it'll take and drag it down and as you can see some is coming right now and then we get the obsidian pipe set up down there with the gold pipe pick it up and then shoot it with speed through the piping system and then going into chests and as you can see just from past you know I don't know, maybe eight hours or so total over the past few days we've been out here messing around and we've got uh, quite a lot of cactus already built up so it's actually going at a pretty good tick and um, like I said this is going to be for basically anybody that first joins the server and they want to start doing stuff with pipes and they don't want to go out and actually harvest the cactus themselves because it's kind of boring and a pain in the butt this way here they can come by pick up a few stacks uh, process it and go back and do stuff with whatever they want to do um, these are some of the engine designs that uh, Blockhead was taken and coming up with. Uh, this was, I guess you can call it the Mach 1 or version 1 per, uh, idea. And then version 2, he actually had going, but <laughs> something happened and something blew up someplace. Um, we think that somebody basically came by in the server after we had left and turned it on and not known that these weren't getting cooled or something. And essentially one of the engines that he had already hooked up with oil and or fuel and stuff in it. Um, the water ran out and essentially detonated and blew a huge hole in the ground. So he's currently rebuilding this. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty much, you know, maybe, I don't know, a quarter, something like that, smaller than uh, the current one that he built, the Mach 1. So that's actually kind of cool that he's been able to take and shrink it down. Um, don't mind the quarry. We just set that up because we wanted to make sure that the quarry bug was fixed for multiplayer, and it seems to be, thankfully. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then this is the beginnings of the power plant. Uh, essentially you got multiple water lines coming in, going underground, will all be buried so that way their people don't accidentally take and tear them up or something stupid. And it's going out to this oil pump rig, but I think we're going to probably need um, at least one more rig of this same size just to keep everything cooled essentially um, in here because there's going to be a lot of engines. I think he said he's going to have a total of 160 of these engines running I think. I could be wrong. Um, that Jesse G's doing that. It's not uh, me uh, or a uh, blockhead so I'm not quite sure how many exactly but uh, essentially we decided to take in as a foundation uh, take and build it in um, bedrock that way there if something does happen because over here is going to be the, nu the nuclear side of things if something does happen nuclear wise it's only going to take and basically blow out the front door to the nuclear containment of whatever one happens to go critical it's not going to affect anything else and just in case something stupid we decided to take and build the whole thing um, out of bedrock that way there if anything bad does happen um, it won't all be taken out so and what the oh huh. I saw a hole in the house and I'm like, dude, what happened to your house? But that's Blockhead right there. He's sitting there, it looks like he's uh, working on his house. And bad part is, <laughs> we don't have World Guard on right now because we're waiting for Bucket to get updated. And he had um, a fireplace down there going and he had all this set up with uh, red wool, basically in the shape of a scorpion. And um, you still kind of see it. But it uh, caught on fire because of the, uh, the World Guard not being on, not allowing fire. So that kind of sucks but I'll get it fixed but um, other than that we've built a um, let's get back to town really quick and I'll show you I'm pretty sure we have other stuff over there that's been built up 
Actually, no, I'm thinking of the 1.0 server. See, what happened is some of the people started playing on the 1.0 server and they wanted to help out and build buildings, but they didn't realize that we had a separate um, developer server, I guess you could say, going. So they started building all kinds of cool shops and stuff like that, but it was for the wrong, like, server. <laughs> so, like, on the other server, on 1.0, um, we have stuff set up, for instance, over here in this area here, it's been all essentially flattened down and redone so we have um, an alchemy shop that's really cool I like the way it came out we have a automatic farm type system set up where it'll automatically harvest the wheat uh, for the most part um, we have a cafe slash bakery set up we have a blacksmith shop set up um, all kinds of stuff basically getting done so um, what I'm gonna do is any of those shops that have been built on the 1.0 server once it goes live, what I'll probably do is go in with MC Edit and just make, um, what do you want to call it there? Um, God, I can't think. Uh, schematics of those certain um, buildings and then take and just directly import them into this map once this map goes back up to 1.0. And so that'd be kind of cool. But um, basically, all these rooms have been built out. Uh, this is actually still, like I said, on the 1.8 server. On the 1.0 server, this is all finished. We actually were, have been on there the past few nights and uh, messing around. And so it's all done up and stuff like that. Looks like somebody's decided to take and uh, try and keep up pace on this server, but valiant effort, but it's not really needed because of the way that it'll be done on the other server. But, um, yeah, that's basically it for right now. We've been basically working a lot over in the factories and stuff like that over there because <clears throat> what we're going to try and do yeah and this kind of sucks a little bit a volcano popped up where once there was not a volcano on the other server so we're going to have to fix that a little bit or take it out or something but um, essentially as far as development and stuff like that um, we're still looking for more people to take and join our build team uh, I've been like I said hard at work taking and building stuff out here because this is essentially going to be the supporting structure for stuff. Uh, for instance, the power plant that we already showed you way over there. Um, obviously, this is going to be pumping out some serious power too, and uh, we have other power, you know, coming in all over the place. So, a lot of this power we're going to try and take and essentially ship back to town through an uh, underground piping network or something like that, kind of like the tunneling system or the tunnel system that you see built in over here that goes towards the power plant. We're going to probably do something like this, but towards uh, town. Now, how that works, we're not quite sure. We don't know if we're going to have to take and put in the constant state blocks or something like that to make it so that these chunks are always loaded or uh, what, but we're going to figure something out and uh, get it up and working, essentially. But, um... Yeah, basically, let's see... These doors automatically open, walk through, and close on you, and then you got, you know, touch power, the step sensors, whatever you want to call them, the pressure plates to take and sense when you walk on them when you want to go out. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. Sorry about the rambling and stuff like that. It's just been a long night. We've been <laughs> doing a lot of projects and building a lot of stuff, and yeah, it's just been very hectic as of uh, late, and I um, definitely apologize for the uh, long delay and getting an update up and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of stuff with uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, getting ready for the last uh, testing weekend, which is this weekend, actually, tonight. It's now uh, 4.40 a.m., I believe, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, December 3rd, so I've been pretty busy. It's been a little over a week since my last update for the Minecraft series. Like I said, I do apologize about that, but we've just been busy with all kinds of stuff with Planet and Door and... Um, getting everything up and running and stuff like that. It's not exactly easy when you're doing a lot of the stuff with uh, limited resources and limited staff. You can't do it all with just the amount of people that we have currently on doing stuff. So it's been a hassle a little bit and a little bit of a headache at times, but it'll be, you know, all worth it at the end when everything gets going and pays off and we can have everyone come on and join us and stuff like that. So it'll be good. But um, anyways, guys, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Again, if you want to take and join us on the servers or you want to join our build team, um, the whitelist to join the 1.0 server is on the forums. Uh, this build server that I'm on right now, the 181 server, is currently invite only, and it's only for the build team only. So um, if you're looking to take and join the build team, 
um, you know, you guys can take and, you know, build something really cool, or you're, you're good at being able to take and, I guess you could say, make something, you know, we give you an idea, you can make it happen type deal, make it come to fruition. Um, definitely take and feel free to take and apply for our build team, and we'll be happy to uh, take an edge of the team and get you on the server, and, um, you know, essentially get up to speed with what we're plan trying to do, and uh, get you all set up with everything, so... Um, anyways guys, till next time, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, pass it on to your friends, and, um, till next time, I'll catch you later.